we should not give up and we should not allow the problem to defeat us it's a word of apj abdul kalam good evening friends welcome 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 aap sabo ka bahut bahut abhinandan hai is video mein baat karenge करेंट अफेयर से जुड़े हुए जो बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण प्रश्न है उनको सॉल्व करना है और ये प्रश्न संभावित हो सकते हैं कुछ प्रश्न आपके एग्जाम में देखने को मिलेंगे तो बने रहिए इस कॉम्पिटिशन के साथ कि वी शुड नॉट गिव अप एंड वी शुड नॉट अलाउ द प्रॉब्लम्स टू डिफिट अस ना तो त्याग करना है इस बात को कि हम हार गए हैं या ना ही इस बात से कि हमें हमारी समस्या हमें हरा सकती है और ना ही समस्या को इतना पावर देना है कि वो हमें हरा दे वी कैन वी कैन वी कैन लेट्स स्टार्ट तो पहला प्रश्न आपकी स्क्रीन पर है कंसीडर दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू न्यूज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग एंड डिजिटल स्टैंडर्ड अथॉरिटीज न्यूज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग्स एंड डिजिटल स्टैंडर्ड्स अथॉरिटी एन it is a autonomous body under the ministry of information and broadcasting it is a autonomous body kya ye ek swayatt body hai jo ministry of information or broadcasting ke tahat aati hai the authority may initiate proceeding on its one and take action in respect to any matter falling within this regulation which are the correct about nbdsa i think this is not a big deal it's a small simple question tha ki ye ek independent body to hai but ye ek independent body hone ke baad bhi ye set up kiya gaya hai news broadcast and digital association nbda as the representative of private television news current affairs and digital broadcasters the authority may initiate proceeding on its own on its own issue notice take action in respect to any matter which falls within this regulation kisi bhi prakar ke notice de sakta hai action le sakta hai issue kar sakta hai swata swata this can also through the complaints referred to the authority by the ministry of information and broadcasting or any other governmental body or any one by else by the its website so you think about why one is incorrect because it is a independent body not a autonomous why uh, what are the differences between independence on autonomous this is set up by new news broadcaster and digital association this news broadcaster digital association ne milkar hi banaya hai ye kisi मंत्रालय के तहत नहीं है ओके okay? एक स्वतंत्र बॉडी है तो न्यूज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग और डिजिटल स्टैंडर्ड्स अथॉरिटी हैज रिसेंटली फाइंड अ हिंदी टीवी चैनल फॉर नॉट एडहेरिंग द गाइडलाइंस मतलब जितने भी भारत में जो चैनल चल रहे हैं चाहे वो न्यूज को लेकर हो चैनल्स को लेकर हो उसके संबंध में जो कानून बनने चाहिए उनके जो रेगुलेशन है उनके जो मानक होने चाहिए उन पर एक तरह से गाइडलाइंस जारी करना दिशा निर्देश देना वगैरह वगैरह नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पूछा जा रहा है कंसर्ट दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू नेशनल इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एजेंसी एन आई ए पैसे भारी भारी इम्पोर्टेंट एन आई ए द एजेंसी हैज मैंडेट टू डील विद थेर रिलेटेड क्राइम्स अक्रोस द स्टेट विदाउट द स्पेशल परमिशन फ्रॉम द स्टेट द जुडिक्शन ऑफ द स्पेशल कोर्ट्स of nia is decided by the supreme court okay the jurisdiction of the special court of nia is decided by the supreme court if a terror related nia is empowered to probe terror attacks targeting indians and indians interest abroad which are correct there is no special promote uh, need to कोई जरूरत नहीं है राज्य उसकी परमति लेने का अनुमति लेने का ठीक है ये कोई सीबीआई का छापा नहीं है कि जनरल कॉन्सेंट लेना पड़ेगा दिस इज एन आई ए इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी है दैट्स इट ओनली ओनली वन एंड थ्री इज द राइट आंसर व्हाट 
correct national investigation agency nia is a primary counter terrorist task force the agency is empowered to deal with the investigation of terror related crimes across the states without the special permission yes without the special permission from the states under written proclamation of ministry of home affairs bas kali ministry of home affairs ka ek written order aa jaye bas kisi bhi raj mein ghus sakti hai jaanch kar sakti hai khas karke terror related mamle ho tab various special courts have been notified by the central government of india for trial the cases of register at the various police station of nia under the section something something of nia act 2008 any question as to jurisdiction of these courts is decided by the central government kon court decide karega kitna uska power hoga kon court iske nirdharan mein aayega uska nirdharan central government karegi they are presided over by a judge appointed by the central government on the recommendation of the chief justice of high court with the jurisdiction is that reason एन आई ए अमेंडमेंट बिल ये जो एन आई ए का जो अमेंडमेंट किया गया है दो हज़ार उन्नीस में उसने वॉज पास द पार्लियामेंट हालांकि इसको पास कर दिया गया दो हज़ार उन्नीस में बिल गिव मोर टीथ अब तो दांत बहुत बड़े दे दिए इन्वेस्टिगेशन पावर ऑफ एन आई ए इट इम्पावर्स द पावर द एन आई ए टू प्रोव द टेर अटैक्स टारगेटिंग इंडियंस एंड इंडियन इंटरेस्ट अब्रोड द अमेंडेड लेजिस्लेशन विच एम्स टू प्राइमरली empower the anti terror agency to investigate schedule offenses such as human trafficking circulation of fake currency manufacture of sale of prohibited arms and cyber terrorism indian home ministry recently said that nia agency will have offense in all states by 2022 विल ऑफिस ऑफिस सब जगह ऑफिस है हर राज्य में अगला क्वेश्चन है सेल काट काट टी सेल थेरेपी काट टी सेल काट टी सेल कैन बी इधर डिराइव फ्रॉम टी सेल इन अ पेशेंट ओन्स ब्लड और फ्रॉम अनदर हेल्दी डोनर the engineer t cell allows doctors to control the persistent yeah fit activity of the t cell in the patient's body which are the correct i think only and only c both the statements are correct absolutely cart t cell can be either derived from t cell in a patient one's blood or derived from a t cell of another healthy donor autologous or allogenic both are allowed it once isolated from a person once isolated from a person these t cells are genetically engineered to express a specific car which programs them to target an specific antigen that is present on the surface of the tumor adding a synthetic control mechanism to engineer t cells allows doctor to precisely control the persistence or activity of the t cells in the patient's body with the goal of reducing toxic side effect current methods for controlling cart t cell include systematic immunosuppressive agent sacorti steroids with the reference to the custom excise and service tax appellate tribunal custom excise and service tax appellate tribunal Consider the following statement. Custom excise, 
सर्विस टैक्स अपीलेट ट्राइब्यूनल इज ए क्वासी जुडिशियल बॉडी कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ट्राइब्यूनल एक्ट सी स्टेट सस्टेट इज ए क्वासी जुडिशियल कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ट्राइब्यूनल एक्ट इट इज द पावर टू ग्रांट कॉम्पनसेशन ओइंग टू दी अनलॉफुल एक्शन ऑफ रेवेन्यू अथॉरिटीज The tribal, the tribunal also has appellate jurisdiction in anti-dumping matters. Anti-dumping matters, which are the correct, of course, only and only three is the right answer. The custom excise and service tax appellate tribunal is a. Indian quasi judicial body that has that hears appeals against the orders and the decision that is passed under the Custom Act 1962 and Central Excise Act 1944, as was amended from the time to time. It was constituted as a Custom Excise and Gold Appellate Tribunal (C G C E G A T) under the Section. 129 of the custom act 1962 cestat function under the following limitation as it cannot grant compensation it cannot grant compensation owing to the unlawful action of revenue authorities review its one order and any quasi judicial authority cannot review its own order exercise powers beyond the statute is it is a creature of statute only it cannot issue writs or grant relief which ought to be granted by the high court tribunal has appellate jurisdiction tribunal has also a appellate jurisdiction in the anti dumping matters the special bench headed by the president says he has the appeal against the orders passed by the cestat cestat has asked the central board of indirect taxes and custom to frame norms in ibc cases consider the following statement with respect to unlawful activities prevention act it will apply to the offenders in the same manner even if a crime is committed outside india there is a provision for default bail but normal bail rules don't apply to the accused under this act an investigating officer does not require any approval to seize properties that may connected with terrorism under this act terrorism Okay, I think it's only and only A is the right answer. Why so? Under UFA, the unlawful prevention activities, both Indian and foreign national can be charged. Indian as well as foreign national can be charged. It will apply to the offenders in the same manner, even in the crime is committed in a foreign land outside India. if it is a crime is committed in a foreign land outside india it is also also have a power to charge police normally have to 60 to 90 days to investigate a case general police generally police normally 60 to 90 days to investigate a case and submit a charge sheet failing which is accused may be obtained default bail if you are fail accused may be often 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 
डिफॉल्ट बेल हाउ एवर अंडर ओफा लेकिन 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 ओफा के तहत चार्जशीट टाइम्स इज एक्सटेंडेड अप टू वन एट्टी डेज नॉर्मल बेल्स रूल्स डोंट अप्लाई हियर ओके नॉर्मल बेल्स डोंट अप्लाई टू द अक्यूज अंडर दी सेक्शन फोर्टी थ्री ऑफ द ओफा under this act an investigation officer is required to obtain the prior permission of the dg of police director general of police to seize the properties that may be connected with terrorism the bill aids that if the investigation is conducted by an officer of nia the approval of the director general of nia would be required or siege the siege of the such property prime minister said that central law such as unlawful activities prevention act ufa had given impetus to the system in a decisive fight against terrorism answer the following statements red mud is a west generated upper after pure iron is separated from the ferrous ore it can be used to build radiation shielding structure in the diagnostic x-ray ct scanner rooms and cath labs it is a low cost non toxic and has a very less chances of leaching the surrounding environment okay i think uh, this is about it is not a law cost i think it three should be in the out of the list two is the only right red mud red mud now more frequently termed bauxite residue is an industrial waste generated during the processing of bauxite into alumina using beer process using beer process it is a composed of various oxides of compounds including iron oxides and uh, which gives its red color it gives its red color red must red mud red mud can be turned into x-ray shielding tiles in the green and economically viable manner through the ceramic roof by adding a certain weight age a weight of percentage of high jet material and binder with it this tiles can be used to build radiation shielding structure in a diagnostic x-ray ct scanner cath labs bone mineral density dental x-rays instead of toxic lead sheet to protect the public from radiation hazards it is considered to be toxic due to the its extreme alkalinity and heavy element leaching although the scientific community has patented more than 700 application of red mud very few of them have reached industry due to the high cost low public acceptance environmental issue and limited market csir advanced materials and process research institute has converted red mud into x-ray shielding tiles consider the following statement respect to north east monsoon north east monsoon this is north east monsoon southward movement of intertropical convergence itcj is one of the cause of the north east monsoon north east monsoon all the states receive lesser rainfall in the north east monsoon as compared to the south west monsoon all the state northeast monsoon performs is not influenced by the sea surface temperature as it moves away from the land to sea 
which are the correct only and only a is the right answer one of the primary cause of the northeast monsoon is southward movement of intertropical convergent zone southward movement of intertropical convergent zone it is a dynamic region near the equator it is a dynamic region near the equator where the trade winds of the northern and the southern hemisphere comes together this southward movement of itcz coupled with the heating up of the indian ocean reverse the direction in which the lower atmosphere moisture leaden winds blow from the southwest to northeast thereby triggering the northeast monsoon the northeast monsoon offers near 11% contribution only just near 11% contribution to the annual rainfall as opposed to the 75% offer by the southwest monsoon as per the imd tamil nadu sub divisions receive at least 48% of the its annual annual rainfall from north east monsoon being in a rain shadow region of the western ghats tamil nadu gets only 36% of the annual rainfall from the southwest monsoon this makes the north east monsoon the chief monsoon season the season for the southern state with its with its with its with its performance playing a key role in tamil nadu agriculture activities and receiver management upon its onset the subsequent performance is notably influenced by the sea surface temperature the north east monsoon rains are positively impacted during the prevalence of an active indian ocean dipole phase positively impacted during the prevalence of an active indian ocean dipole phase warmer surface sea area warmer sea surface temperature in the western indian ocean as well as the el nino phase a warmer sea surface temperature in equatorial pacific Indian Meteorological Department recently announced the onset of the near east monsoon over south india next question about kalana mak rice kalanan ya kalan mak kala namak kala नमक राइस राइस काला नमक राइस इज अ ट्रेडिशनली वैरायटी ऑफ पैडी विद ब्लैक हस्क एंड अ स्ट्रांग फ्रेग्रेंस इट इज यूजुअली ग्रोन इन थराई रीजन ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न यूपी एंड नेपाल व्हिच आर द करेक्ट incorrect which are incorrect about kala namak rice neither one nor two because you know kala namak is a traditionally variety of pedi with black husk and strong fragrance it is considered as a gift from the lord buddha to the peoples of sravasti when visited the reason after the enlightenment it is a it is considered a gift from lord buddha to the people of the sravasti the traditional kala namak rice is protected under the gi geographical indication tag system grown in 11 district of tarai region of north eastern up and in nepal Indian Agriculture Research Institute has 
successfully tested a new dwarf varieties in UP that give double yields of the traditional variety of Kalanamak rice. Next question is a glycophosphate considered as a harmful, mostly using which of the following? Which of the following? Glycophosphate is a harmful, most likely used in which of the following? It's a food phosphate, food preservative, plastic manufacturing, industrial solvent, herbicides, glycophosphate. It should be D, herbicides. Glycophosphate is a herbicide. Is an herbicides. It's a khas patwar nahi hota hai. It's a herbicides. It is applied to the leaves of the plants to kill both broadleaf plants and grasses. The sodium salt from the glycophosphate is used to regulate plant growth and ripen specific crops. It is widely used in the plantation agriculture. The Agriculture Ministry is an, a notification early this week said the use of glycophosphate is hereby restricted and no person shall use glycophosphate except pest control operators.